Part 10 A few days later, back on Bird Island, birds of all shapes, sizes, and ages were all working together to repair and rebuild Bird Village. Bubbles used his inflation abilities to lift a basket for Edward and Eva. Nice! <laughs> Timothy, with his little brother, giggled. Stella and her friends, Poppy, Willow, Dahlia, and Gail, passed by the, the hug trader bird hope, who was hoping for a hug from them. But then he frowned sadly, thinking he was forgotten about. But then Stella and her friends all embraced him in a big group hug. This made hug trader very happy. Grand reopening! Get your worms here! Judge Pecking Paw, Cyrus, and another bird were standing on top of each other as Cyrus was hammering in a sign. Well done indeed! Meanwhile, Red, Indigo, Chuck, Fly, Bomb, and Zack, who, who still had his helmet, were looking at a new statue of Mighty Eagle that showed him carrying the eggs in the net. Wow! Is that you with Indigo right there, Red? Oh, really? Where? No, I didn't have to. Then Red noticed himself along with Indigo in the middle of everyone. Oh, yeah. I can see us right there. Oh, yeah. That's funny. I don't remember us crying on our knees like that, but, you know, it's nice. Look at that. They gave Mighty Eagle all the credit. They made him look so much more handsome than you. Mm-hmm. You know, back when I was angry, that would have really ticked me off. Me too, honestly. I'd really be cheesed. Ah, forget about that. Bomb rubbed red on his head. You know what we should do? We should let's go to the village. Totally, dudes. We gotta show Red and Indigo something we did. Really? You do? Well actually, Indigo and I love to go hang out with you guys, but I got this thing, and I have another thing after that thing, and I've still got to take care of Indigo here with all these things in a row. Would you look at that? They all looked and saw Red's house rebuilt, but this time in the middle of the village. What the? <gasps> Red, your house! Y yeah. He walked toward it. Some birds were putting the final touches to Red's hut, and even a sign was put up saying, Home Tweet Home. As the, all the birds gathered around as Red with Indigo was walking towards it, Chuck, Fly, Bomb, and Zack followed them. Mr. Red, welcome back to the village. And welcome to our community, Indigo. All the birds cheered. Red looked at his home and at all the birds cheering for him. Then he then he looked again. At, he looked back, he turned back to the crowd and looked at all their smiling, happy faces all looking at him. And for the very first time in many years, Red felt like he truly belonged and Indigo was very happy to have finally become a part of the community to everyone in Bird Village. Then the crowd parted and a lot of hatchlings, including the Blues, the three Blues, now named Jay with blue eyes, Jake with green eyes, and Jim with brown eyes, came up to Red. Mighty, mighty Red, you rescue me! They all made angry faces. Mighty, mighty Red, you rescue me. Red was so very proud and touched that he was trying so hard not to cry. Indigo was so happy that he leaned his head over and rested it gently on Red's side. In response, Red gently held Indigo's hand.
Oh my god. Wow, Terrence! <laughs> then Matilda affectionately rested her head against Terrence. Terrence looked very surprised, but then smiled happily as he looked at Matilda, knowing he really did, or she really did love him so very much. Aww. <laughs> How did you guys find the time to pull this off? This is why we went to go get pedicures, isn't it? Nope, we got pedicures because we're worth it. I got gels. You guys are something else. To be honest with you, I am going to miss the beach view. He took Indigo by the hand and walked up to the door of his house. But so what? It's still there. It's just not right there when I wake up and look out my window. Well, you and Indigo can still look out and see me and Mom. And everyone else. Oh yeah, we can! Right. So, you know, pluses and minuses. Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh. Red had closed the door on them. Well, this just got awkward. That's really insensitive. Wanna go get a bite? Forget it. Let's just go home. Mm. Both of them began to walk sadly home when Red reopened up the door, knowing he was only kidding. Guys, I'm just messing with you. Get in here. It wouldn't be the same without you guys. Both Bomb and Chuck gasped into light. <gasps> and they both happily went to join Red and Indigo inside their new home in the middle of Bird Village. And that was how Red and Indigo both came to be fully accepted into the community of Bird Village. And Indigo, who was once the saddest and loneliest little bird you could find, now had a new home, a loving father, two honorary uncles, and all the friends he could ask for. But of course, his new life on Bird Island wouldn't even be possible if it weren't for a loving mother's sac selflessness and sacrifice, a grumpy outcast's understanding and acceptance, and the kindness and loyalty of his own heart. But however, the birds were completely unaware that the pigs had managed to survive the explosion, including Leonard himself, as he was plotting revenge to get back at the birds, which made Prudence, who had escaped to a resort on the beach, feel even more disappointed, and, sh and she knew things were going to be hard for her and her soon-to-be-born baby, too. Meanwhile... While the parents and their older sister, Sky were busy, the Blues quietly sneaked out of their home, making their way past some of the birds in Bird Village. And soon they came to the fixed-up slingshot near the beach. Whoa! They loaded themselves into the slingshot, and after that, and after pulling it back hard enough, and after pulling it back far enough, all three of them were launched into the air. As they flew through the air, they all came together, glowing with blue electricity. Then they made angry faces. Then they flew out in three different directions towards the ocean as the sun was just setting. The End Happy 8th Anniversary, Angry Birds Movie.